So, Shalom, welcome Secretary of Thank State you. Anthony Tony Blinken, a good friend, long time friend and a great friend of the State of Israel. Uh, your visit means a lot to us and we welcome you wholeheartedly here in Jerusalem. And we congratulate you for joining this uh, wonderful summit which will take place today, the Negev Summit, which will uh, include foreign ministers from regional states that are so important to this unified front which has been built in the region, which is based on the Abraham Accords and which moves forward in peace and uh, mutual cooperation and respect. I want to commend Foreign Minister Yair Lapid for convening this summit and wish him success in this very important gathering. We will work together uh, to find further regional corporations and uh, for the benefit of all peoples in the region and the benefit of peace and of course preventing any threats against Israel as well as my own personal commitment to move forward and try to help uh, in all relevant uh, co corporations and activities that are pushing forward together with our friends and allies in this region. I will conclude by saying, Foreign Minister, that uh, Foreign Secretary, that we are, uh, welcome you here, not only because you are a friend, but also because the United States is Israel's most important ally and closest friend in the world. And uh, we see you as friends and part of the family. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. President. It's um, wonderful to, to be with you. It's wonderful to be uh, in Israel. It's wonderful to be here in this very special place. Uh, and it's, uh, it's also an honor. Uh, to your point, uh, this evening when we head to the, uh, the Negev, uh, what is happening there is something that I think would have been unimaginable just a few years ago. And what we're seeing is normalization become the new normal for uh, this region. And I think it's um, going to attract more and more countries as they see the benefits of these partnerships uh, among so many of the leading countries in, uh, in the region. The United States is very proud to be a part of that, uh, to support the efforts to deepen um, the partnerships with countries that have already uh, normalized with Israel. and to help seek uh, new partners, and to make sure that as we're working together, we're doing it in a way that, of course, stands up for our common security, because we face common challenges, uh, but also finds ways to uh, make meaningful difference in the lives of, of our citizens. And that's the tremendous opportunity uh, of uh, what is coming together uh, in the Negev um, uh, later today. Uh, the opportunity to uh, work together, invest together uh, in infrastructure, uh, in global health, uh, in dealing with climate change, renewable energy, uh, bringing our businesses together, bringing our people together. It's an incredibly powerful and positive vision for the future, and Israel is making that real, and I applaud that. And I also have to say, Mr. President, how much um, we applaud uh, the leadership of this government, uh, including, uh, for example, on trying to bring an end to Russia's horrific aggression against Ukraine. Uh, Prime Minister Bennett uh, has made important efforts to see if there's a diplomatic path forward. Uh, we applaud them. Uh, we applaud the support that you're providing, including the humanitarian hospital, a field hospital that Israel has set up, that I was able to see directly by video link. Uh, yeah, with, I spoke to uh, them uh, Friday you. night, Shabbos dinner. It's one, <laughs> Congratulated them all. It's a, wonder, it's a wonderful thing. Yes. Uh, and of course, uh, there is uh, much to discuss uh, about uh, the uh, relationship with the Palestinians and our support for them and the work that's being done to try to improve their lives uh, as well. So uh, lots, to, lots to talk about, but for me it's um, always especially wonderful uh, and meaningful uh, to uh, be in Israel. Uh, the United States has a deep <coughs> attachment to this country, to this relationship, to this partnership, to this alliance. We have a sacrosanct commitment to Israel's security. President Biden reaffirmed that again recently with the provision of a billion dollars for Iron Dome something that has saved lives in the past and, if necessary, will we'll do so in the future. Uh, and I will just say simply in concluding, it's also very meaningful to me on a personal level as well. So thank you. Thank for you very us. much. I know I will just say to all the visitors in the Negev Summit, Secretary of State Tony Blinken, Foreign Ministers of the UAE, Morocco, Bahrain and Egypt, 
Ahlan wa sahlan fi baladina. We welcome you all to the state of Israel. Bochim abayim le Israel. Thank you.